Hey Gemini, Alice here with your weekly reading. This reading is for the week of March 21st to the 25th. And here we're going to see what the current energy is like between you and them. Them being your person, the person that you're thinking of, the person that is on your mind. We're going to see what their energy is like towards you this week and what your energy is like towards them. Technically, this reading is timeless, so whenever you stumble upon this video is when you are meant to see it. It uh, doesn't matter if it was like a week from now, if it's a month from now, a year from now, there's probably some message in here that you are meant to see. Just keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything is going to apply to your situation. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and don't try to force it. You can always check out your other signs, your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. You may find some other messages in there for you. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I almost feel like when I sneeze during a reading, that should be like a good sign. I don't know. I don't know if it is or not. I haven't actually tracked them. All right, Gemini, your person. What is your person's current... Uh, energy towards you for this week. Gemini, your person's current energy towards you for this week. Hmm. Two of Swords. Ace of Swords in reverse. Uh, three of Swords. What the hell? I, I, okay, I shuffled this deck. I shuffled this deck really well. One, two, three. One, two, three. Amazing. I mean, it's not actually that great for your person, but I mean, like, I think that's pretty cool. Where's the Four Swords? Four Swords gonna come out now? Oh my gosh. What the fuck, dude? What? Wait, what? Okay, five of swords? No, I don't know. The five of swords is not coming out. Okay, oh, a five. A five did come out. Six of swords or a six? Okay, it's a page. Broke the combo. Combo breaker. What the fuck, dude? There is a progression. Your person is progressing. I'm like, that is, yeah, that is craziness. Fool in reverse. We'll talk about it. Two of wands in reverse. And the ten... Of swords in reverse is down here. Whew, so many swords. Oh, that's a lot of swords. Man, that's a lot of swords. I'm just in awe. I'm in awe of this. I'm in awe of this. Do you know how crazy that is to happen? This, I mean, you saw me shuffling. The, the, the deck was shuffled. To have, because, you know, you can read from the middle left, right. One, two, three, four, five. Zero, two, ten. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay. Law of Swords. Your person. Um, Gemini. Ah, your person can't make up their fucking mind. They cannot make up their fucking mind. They're confused. They're overthinking this. Whatever this is. There's, there is a... They're at a crossroads. Okay. They can either go left or they can go right. Whatever. You know, they're too... They have, they have a choice that they need to make. They know what they want. Let's be clear. They know what choice they should take. But they're not making that decision. And they're just overthinking about it. They're overthinking this this thing here. And it's causing them a lot of pain. It's causing them so much pain. Their brain can't shut off. Like, they just can't shut their brain off about this. And the whole, like, what I feel, the whole mm, central theme of this in the middle is the Hierophant. There's some sort of belief that your person has that they cannot shake. They have some sort of personal belief or there's somebody around them, like, a, you know, there's some sort of restriction, some sort of rule or boundary. Or some Something is stopping your person from making this decision. They, ah, there's just something that they believe, some sort of core value that they have that is driving them up the wall here. They're overthinking things so much when it comes to you. It has to do with you. Remember, this is their energy towards you. It's a decision that they have to make towards you. They're not making up their mind. They like they, you have two cards here of I can't make up my fucking mind. Um 
the page of swords in reverse i feel like uh, i feel like deep down they know that whatever it is that they believe so strongly in is kind of bullshit um like it, or it's like they know that something here like uh, it, it is bullshit but it's also like they talk a lot of bullshit too um so like your person let's say they they've talked to you about this that you know i can't make up my mind maybe you've asked them about this excuse me gemini you've asked them about what is it like what's your problem like why why can't like what's going on here and maybe they've told you something um whatever they've told you it's bullshit it's not really what's going on here I don't I, I'm gonna pull on this I don't really know what's going on here but there is something here that your person feels restricted from and this is something that they've learned this is a learned thing um, it can be something that they've learned from childhood something that they've learned from their family something they've learned from friends there's some sort of core value here something that they believe that is preventing this um i feel like they they try to play things safe it's like they don't want to take any risks involved which you know they could probably break this rule whatever this is they probably could just be like fuck it and just you know just bypass it but they don't want to take any risks here and that leads again to i'm not going to make a choice and it's just this pain this pain isn't going away this is unresolved pain and suffering. This, whatever, whatever all this pain is, this three of wands, three of wands, three of swords, ten of swords, the pain that your person is feeling is not going to go away until they fucking make a choice here. And that choice has to do with bypassing whatever this is. So let's pull on this. Let's pull on the Hierophant here. Tell me more about the Hierophant. Because I feel that is, it is the literal center of your person's spread here. And it is the center of why all of this, why they can't make up their mind. So let's find out more. If it wants to tell me more. <laughs> uh, speaking of people. Um, okay. Knight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles in the world. Okay. I feel like they're working on getting past this. <laughs> okay. That's actually, this is actually very encouraging. Um, I feel it's very encouraging. Your person, Gemini, they are taking action to work on themselves when it comes to whatever this restriction is. They're working on it. Um, they feel like... Like, they're not quite there yet. With the world in reverse, it's like they haven't gotten the closure that they need yet. Um, there's some unfinished business here. Um, but they're working on it. They're working on it. Okay, that's that's actually very promising. So you're not going to be in this limbo uh, energy forever. I feel like they're actively working on it. I get that because I don't really get any stuck energy here. I get I'm overthinking things. I can't make up my mind. I'm, I can't shut down my brain. I'm constantly thinking about it and at the crux of it, it's this, this thing. And if people ask me about it, I just tell them a bunch of bullshit. It's not, yeah, I can't like, you yeah, know, I get a lot of, eh. but they're working on it. Let's see. Ace of Cups in reverse. Uh, devil in reverse the moon in reverse uh, yeah they're your person Gemini they're trying to get rid of something that's been holding them back the devil is this is this is like toxic behavior this is like you know their hang-ups um, there's something that is holding them back something that they haven't told you and something that stresses them the fuck out like uh, like stress I, when I say stress it's more like it's anxiety based it's something that gives them a lot of anxiety and it gives them a lot of anxiety also to let it go um to let go of whatever this is um I feel like the reason why that they feel like they can let this go is because of these feelings they have feelings for you I know that didn't really show up in the main part here because they're so in their head right now but about, like when it comes to you Gemini but they have a lot of deep feelings here and they're starting to sort of 
spill out you know the cup they're emptying these feelings are coming out and these feelings are what are driving them to change something here to let go of whatever hang-ups they have I feel like this 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 five this hierophant here is that and like I said progression there is progression ace two three four five your person is slowly progressing slowly working on themselves this is the action they're taking they're working on themselves they're not done yet though it's not done okay right now it's not done they're just working on it right now okay let's see about you let's see about you Gemini where where are you at move that all right Gemini what's your current energy towards this person the person you're thinking of the person you're on your mind what is your current energy towards this person for this week what is Gemini's current energy towards this person for the week If it could fucking shuffle right like what the fuck it's like half the deck is shuffled thank you what is Gemini's current energy towards this person for this week I'm curious I'm curious I mean that's all this is curiosity <laughs> You got the three of swords too. Hmm. You're also this also brings you pain as well. Interesting. Temperance in reverse. Three of Wands. Seven of Swords. Knight not Knight. King of Swords in reverse. Six of Coins. Star in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse. And the Sun. Alright. Gemini. Like I said, this situation it it also pains you as well um this person who isn't making a choice i feel like you are a little impatient right now about what's going on um i sense that you are trying to look you know further into the future of this connection of where things could go uh, where you want things to go I feel that's where your impatience is um it's like you want to move forward but it's like ah, I can't really move forward you're like on the precipice here like you want to move forward but you can't and it's making you feel kind of impatient um I feel like you there's I think I feel like you're hiding this pain as well um yeah you, you don't you're you're not very open about this i would think that your person here probably has no idea how much this actually pains you um to be honest uh it's almost like like i feel like you can't make a decision until this person until your person makes a decision like you feel like i want to make a decision I, w I want to make a decision on this person, on where this connection is going, but I can't do that until your person decides. That's how you feel. I, I don't know if that's true or not. That's just your energy right now um, towards this person. I feel like you really want to give them a lot. Like, you really, like, I want to help you. I get that energy here. Like, let me help you. Let me help you decide in any way that I can help. Let me help you. Um, but again, I don't feel like your person is really reaching out because if they say anything to you, they just say a lot of bullshit. It's not true. Whatever they say, they're not going to talk about this. They're not being very open or honest or about what's going on here. So even if you ask them, hey, is everything okay? Is there anything I can do to help? They would just come back with you with some sort of assholely fucking bullshit. Like, and yeah, <laughs> they're not going to actually tell you. Um, yeah, because they're, they're kind of hiding all this stuff. Um, you, you're starting to feel like, because you guys aren't really sharing, um, you know, what's going on, that you do feel a little, like, helpless. There's a helpless feeling here, a hopelessness, almost. 
it's like you almost feel like there is a bit of sadness and hopelessness here that you guys are ever going to come together you know like that you're ever going to that they're going to ever open up to you the weird thing is is the sun is here so like this person makes you very happy you're very you do have a positive outlook here that's the thing. It's like right now you're all in this energy of like, if like, look, if I take away this card, all your energy here is like, oh, it hurts. Oh, it's so like, I like, I don't want to wait. And like, I feel like I have to hide all my emotions here. Like, I, I feel like I have to hide how I feel. I can't move on making decision. I want to help them, but they're not letting me help. And that kind of hurts. And I kind of feel like because they're refusing my help that it's like I feel like kind of hopeless here that they're never going to share anything with me like this looks really bad except the sun the sun the sun is here ultimately no matter how you're feeling no matter what your energy is like towards this person there's positivity here you feel like things are going to work out no matter what all of this is ultimately ultimately you feel like this is going to work out I'm gonna pull on that sun. I want to know. I want to know more. Why do you feel this way? Like, why? What, what, what's what's the sun here? Let's get some positivity in here. Tell me. Tell me about the sun. Tell me more about the sun. Why? 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 I want to know more about the sun. Okay. Uh, mm Fell face down. That means I don't give a shit. All right. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about the sun. Uh, I feel like I have one of those trick decks, um, you know, where they can go to, ooh, it feels very stringy. Why does it feel so stringy? Okay, we have, okay, Justice, Justice, Eight of Swords, okay, and Ten of Swords in reverse. That's very interesting. Um, so I'm like, okay, why? Why is there here? Okay, I feel like with the sun and with justice, you're you're in this positive energy. You feel like things are going to work out because you feel like things are going to balance itself out. Although you can't get out of your head about this. You, I mean, um, it's something that you're in your head about. Like, I'm drawn to both these cards. Both of them are blinded, right? They can't see. I feel a little bit of this is blind optimism, <laughs> okay? Um, I don't think you actually know anything. You, It's just a feeling you have. You just feel like things are going to work out. But there's nothing here that is like factual. Like you don't have any facts that you know things are going to work out. You just have a feeling that things are going to work out. So you, you actually can't see anything. <laughs> And the Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, I almost feel like you kind of are ignoring whatever pain is going on here. Because there is a... It's like... What, I, what I'm getting here is like... Yes, there's pain here. There's persistent pain. And it's... Or consistent. Consistent? Persistent? I don't know. There's pain here that is unresolved. And it's almost like... Why? Like, I can't help it. Like, there's things that you can't help. So it's like... so. Either you can be all woe is me and be all sad and be like a sack of sadness here um, with your pain or you could kind of put the blinders on to this pain and just kind of hope for the best. That's what I get here. It's like you're hoping for the best here. There is some blind optimism. And you know what? Like, yeah, okay. I, I, I can, you know, I can understand that. I can understand that. Ten of Wands. Five of Wands. The Moon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this weighs on you. Yeah, as much as you could close your eyes and, like, not pay attention to it, um, you still feel conflicted inside um, about it. Um, I feel like you know that... Um, you know what you're doing like you know that you you're turning a blind eye you know that you're not you're ignoring the pain here 
um like this is something that you push down deep down um with the moon here you push this pain away but it's still there it still weighs heavily on you and it's very conflicting for you yeah i mean i get I, the energy i get is like there's not much else that i can really do like what else do you want from me like either i can go around and be super sad and you know and just mope around and be all depressed and shit or i could try to put on a happy face and try to have some optimism here and like i get that and i understand okay so let's go over your person gemini let's do a once over because we have all the energies here now so now we can kind of you know see if there's anything really different usually it doesn't really change but it's nice to kind of have an overall here. So your person, Gemini, their current energy towards you for this week is they're, in, they're at a crossroads. They're at a crossroads. They're not making a choice. They know what choice they should be making, but they're not making that choice. They're overthinking it. And they're overthinking it way too much um, to the point that they're kind of confusing themselves. And it's causing them some heartache, some pain. I feel like this is pain that they could avoid. They could easily avoid this pain, but they're driving themselves nuts. Um, thinking about this, I get a lot of antsy energy here. They just, you know, they can't stop thinking about it. Like their brain is going a million miles an hour. Why can't they make this decision? Well, it has something to do with something that they value. Um, some sort of belief that they have, something that they've learned um, with throughout their life. It's, it can be something like they've been told that, I don't know, like you don't do this with people kind of thing. Like, I don't, I don't know. There's probably nothing wrong with you, Gemini, but maybe they're just being told, they've been told that you, you don't, I don't know, you don't date Geminis. I, I don't know. It's something like that. It's like, it's like they've been told that you, you don't date Gemini people and it's a stupid reason. You know why it's a stupid reason? Because your person actually thinks it's bullshit. Your person knows that this is bullshit because it's like they've met you. Like, so why, like, why have they been told not to date Geminis, but they've met you and they're like, well, there's nothing wrong with this Gemini. I like this Gemini. There's nothing wrong with this Gemini. So why have they been told all these years not to date Geminis? And it's like that. It's like, it's fucking bullshit. This also goes, if you talk to them about this, they're just going to tell you a bunch of bullshit too. Like, I, like they're, you're not going to get a straight answer from this person if you ask them about this. Um, no straight answers. Now, keep in mind, your person is progressing. One, two, three, four, five. They are moving towards progression. Your person isn't going to take any risks. They don't want to risk anything. And I feel like if this is something to do with family or the people around them, their belief system, they don't want to risk that. They don't want to risk you. They, they're they just in this place where I don't want to take any risk right now. So that's why they're not making a decision. They cannot make a decision to fucking save their life right now because they just don't want to risk anything. They don't want to risk anything because they're in so much pain. This brings them a lot of pain. It's unresolved pain, and this won't be resolved until they make a decision, um, until they make a choice. It's not going to be resolved. I mean, even if they make a choice, if they make a choice to, let's say, um, they choose whatever this hierophant is, um, if they choose to follow those rules, I still feel they're going to be in this pain, to be honest. Like, there's a lot of pain here. Uh, I feel like they'll still be in that pain. I don't think it's going to solve everything. Um, but I do think that if they do make a choice that it will put them on the path to healing so that they can start to resolve this pain. So at least this 10 can at least turn this way. Okay. So we pulled on the Hierophant and what we got here is your person is doing something. They, they are working on something here. They are taking action. And then what are they doing? They're working on themselves. Um, they're working things out. For themselves but they're not quite done yet um they're working on it they're working towards closing out this cycle of whatever this is um whatever they've been taught they're you know they're working on it but they're not done yet you know they're still they're still thinking about it they're still trying to figure things out what is helping them here or what's going on i guess 
with all of this is well we got the ace of cups in reverse the devil and the moon this person has a lot of feelings attached to you and the connection and they're all flooding out right now maybe before it was left right like this and they were able to keep it under wraps they were able to be like okay there's a lot of feelings here okay that's cool sure um i'm just gonna keep this cup here like that no now the feelings are all coming out that is actually fueling this this devil it's allowing them to release something that has been holding them back i feel that has to do with this this hierophant i mean it all comes back to this that's what they're working on they're working on releasing these hang-ups that they have here with this hierophant they're not done yet though why because this is something that is deep below the surface like the moon in reverse this is something that they probably haven't even really thought of for a very long time um it's something that causes them a lot of anxiety a lot of uh, worry and anxiousness i mean yeah this is something that you've been taught like all your life and you're trying to figure out like the, like, you, like you know it's bullshit and you're trying to figure out like how do i navigate this i mean yeah i mean it's gonna cause some anxiety some worries here but your person ultimately is working on it so i guess have some sort of um you know that's positive feel good about that let's look on your side gemini let's see what's going on for you what's your energy like towards this person for this week well you're both in pain yeah, I feel like whatever's going on here between the two of you, you both feel the same way. It hurts. It hurts both of you. You both are feeling the pain here. Um, I mean, what else can I say? I, I feel like you are being a little impatient about your person. I would say just realize that they're going through a lot right now and they're working on it. I mean whatever rome isn't built in a day and all that bullshit right that i mean it's gonna take time they have a lot of healing to do um it's not just this three of swords three of swords it's not that it's easy to heal but it's three swords um ten of swords is a lot more difficult to heal and with the moon it's like this is deep seated your person it's, it's gonna take them some time and you're gonna have to have some patience and i know you feel impatient right now because you're looking towards the future you're like well where is this all going what kind of future is there for me and this person that's that's how you're thinking right but and you want to move things forward and you're just kind of feeling a little impatient um I, I don't know i get a little bit like you feel like there's some sort of time limit possibly but there is a bit of an impatience here but you don't you're not going to share this you kind of keep this to yourself you you hide it you hide how you're feeling um you feel like you can't make any sort of decision with this connection with this person until they make a choice um i don't really know how true that is i feel like there's things that you probably could make decisions on but ultimately you feel like you can't make any choices here until they make a choice you really want to help them out i think you've offered them help or you want to offer them help you're like hey i'm here i have you know i have knowledge i have experience like i have resources i want to help you in any way that i can but remember if you try to help them if you try to ask them about this you're probably going to be met with where where is it where is he where is he this this little guy here um they're just not going to tell you the truth i mean yeah they're not going to be straight with you they're just going to tell you a bunch of bullshit but you really do want to help them and because you're going to be met with this bullshit i feel like yeah you're going to take a hit here you're going to feel like it's a little hopeless this connection what's going on here um that it's hopeless that you know you can't that you're not really sharing things with each other and because you're not really sharing this with each other you you feel like maybe maybe this is all out of reach for me maybe i can't get the wish that i want here with this connection with this person but we have the sun here so there is some you i feel like you're you're choosing you're choosing to be look on the positive side of things you're choosing to be optimistic i feel ultimately here you want to be optimistic about it you want to be more positive um about the situation and about your person 
because I feel like you know, you kind of know that what's going on here probably, it's like, I'm sure Gemini, you're smart. You know that this has like really nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them. I mean, it is that saying, it's not you, it's me. But it, I mean, in this case, it's pretty true. I mean, yes, you are sort of the catalyst for this person to have to really look at things in their life. But I mean, ultimately, it's not your fault. These things were in place before you even showed up in this person's life and their energy. Um, it's just your energy is helping them see, helping them see more clearly the things that were hidden from them, this shit. And, you know, they're kind of dealing with this right now. And it, it's, you know, it's taking some time for them to deal with it. And I know you feel kind of impatient, but I, I do like that you're going to choose to be positive here. I'm like, okay, so you're choosing to be positive. So we pulled on that. You have Justice, we have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Ten of Swords in Reverse. So yes, I mean, you are in pain, just like your person, right? You both have this Ten of Swords in Reverse. You both have unresolved pain. Um, I feel like you think about this a lot, but you try not to. Like, you kind of blind yourself to it. Same with Justice. I feel like these are two cards of where you are not looking at this pain. You're not taking, like, a hard look at it. Um, it's almost like blind faith. It's like you blind optimism, like you believe that things are just going to work out, that things are going to balance itself out. You feel like there's nothing that you can do. I, I think that there's things that you can do. Um, you just haven't realized it. You haven't opened your eyes to what you can do. And until you do, you're going to continue to be in this state of ongoing pain again here um in your energy we have the ten of wands the five of wands and the moon i feel like you're just not really seeing things super clearly and i don't really think that's your fault to be honest i because there's a lot of things that you're not telling this person there's a lot of things that your person isn't telling you and i feel like yes this is a weight on your shoulders um it causes conflict within you to not be seeing things as clearly as you would like to see them. Um, and it, yeah, it can cause some anxiety for you as well. Um, I feel like you both have that within you, but I, I feel like for you, Gemini, you see things a little more clearly than your person sees them. Probably because you're watching tarot readings, to be honest. I feel like you're a little bit more spiritual than your person is. So that's probably why you see things a little bit more clearly than they do, but you still can't see the full picture here. And that bothers you and that causes a lot of um, burdens for you. All right. So let's see what is the potential here, the potential outcome between you and your person, Gemini, for this week. So given the current energies right now, what is the potential outcome between your person, Gemini, and you for this week? Potential outcome. I'm not really expecting a whole lot here. I would be surprised if there was a whole lot of movement here, I'll be honest. Uh, five of Pentacles in reverse, Justice. Six of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Swords in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. Yeah, yeah, I didn't really think there was going to be that much movement here. <laughs> Because it doesn't look like it. Um, let's see, four of wands in reverse, eight of cups, page of pentacles in reverse, knight of pentacles. There's so many pentacles, dude. I mean, also, this deck was, I, I shuffled it, I shuffled the fuck out of it, and there's so many pentacles here. There's such an emphasis right now on material matters, time, king of pentacles. Look at all these pentacles. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So many pentacles here, dude. Ah, taking your time. Time. Time is going to be a big thing for you guys right now, I feel. Mm. I feel like 
the energy here is that I feel like you guys, I feel like your person, Gemini, and possibly you, are going to take some time for yourself to figure things out. With the Page of Pentacles in reverse, it's like, I don't really know what I'm doing. I want some focus, trying to find some focus here. So somebody may be taking, maybe moving on from the situation on their own so they can try to figure things out um, because things are starting to feel a little in, un, too unstable for them. It can be you, it can be your person. Um, I don't feel like it's forever. It's just, I need some time. I get a lot of, I just need some time. I need some time to figure this out because things aren't stable and I need some time for my life, you know, for what's around me, my home life to be more stable. Um, so I don't know if it can be just both of you, um, to be honest. Okay. Let's see here. We have justice. We have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Well, I mean, I feel like there will be something will be balanced out here. Um, something that maybe you thought that there was no effort being put into same with your person, something that maybe the both of you weren't putting any effort into actually is going to be balanced out um, here, that there's going to be some sort of equality. Um, I'm not sure what that is, <laughs> to be honest. It's just something that you guys weren't working on to like, yeah, something in this connection that wasn't working is going to be sort of righted in some way. It's going to start working. So yeah, okay, fine. Um, five, five of pentacles in reverse, two of swords in reverse. Um, I feel like somebody's gonna, uh, somebody's gonna, mm, yeah, like I said, somebody is moving away from the situation. I'm not saying they're moving away from the connection. They're moving away from the situation. Um, because they need to figure their shit out. And that's what's happening here. They, Whoever is moving away from this situation, whoever's kind of like, they're doing it because they feel like they're, they have no choice. They're between a rock and a hard place. They have no choice. They need to remove themselves from the situation for now. It's like, I told you, somebody's going to be like, I need some time to figure some shit out. And I again, I don't really feel like it has to do with each other. It's more of a, I need to work on myself. So it could be your person, Gemini, who is leaving you out in the cold. But here, here's the thing. The the five of pentacles is in reverse. And I get this energy that the door isn't completely shut, right? It's, it's like a temporary type of thing. Like I need some time to figure my shit out. And I don't really have any choice but to leave you outside for now. I can't, like, I can't deal with it while you're around. Like, I need you to be out of my space for me to properly deal with this shit. Um, that's the energy that I get here. Um, I, I, it's like, don't take it personally. Please don't take it personally. But it's that's just kind of what I get here. Because they're not going to close the door and lock the key on you. They're just kind of like, I'm just closing the door. The door's not locked. There's a window. You can kind of see through the window, but not very clearly, right? But it's like, I yeah, I need to, I need to get away to i need to take some time uh six of pentacles in reverse eight of wands in reverse yeah yeah again it's the same thing i'm not going to be communicating somebody here is like i'm just not going to be communicating a lot i know it's not fair um the six of pentacles is like it's like they know that not talking about it not communicating does create an an imbalance in this in in communication because one person is taking away the communication and they know that that is, that's not fair. That's imbalanced. Um, I want to know more about this Eight of Pentacles before we end this. So tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. Oops, let's like hold this properly. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. I just want one card. One. 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 <laughs> that's not, that's like half the deck. That's again half the deck. One, okay, there we go. King of Swords. Strength in reverse. Mm. I feel, hmm. This has to do about, it is about talking, but it's like, Mm. 
okay, if there was something that you disagreed on in the past before, like that, I feel like this is past energy, something that you guys couldn't work out before, um, something that you guys just couldn't like agree on. Like there's, there's something here with the strength and the five of wands in reverse. There's something that is going to be confronted here. Um, somebody's going to whatever, pull up their big boy, big girl pants here and be like, okay, I want to talk about this, this one thing. Um, and in a mature way, we're going to talk about this in a mature way. And something that you, there were, that you guys hadn't worked on. It's like something that was put on the back burner that you guys just kind of left alone there and you didn't really like touch for a while. Uh, somebody's going to bring that up. Somebody's going to bring that up. They're going to confront it. Um, it can be, a, it's something that you guys disagreed with, um, before. And I feel like somebody wants to talk about it and you're going, you're, you're both going to find some sort of balance here. I don't know if you're both going to be in agreement about it, but there's just something here that, okay, you guys are going to work it out. So there's, there's that, there's that silver lining. There's at least one thing here that you guys are going to work out and it's going to be like, okay, I feel better about this. Like it's, it's balanced. Um, you know, it's been righted, it's been fixed. Not everything will be fixed though. Like I said, there's going to have to be some time taken out here. Anyways, Gemini, that's your reading for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I hope that you found it interesting, insightful, entertaining, helpful in any way. If you did, I'd appreciate a like and or subscribe. That just helps me do more with the channel. Um, good luck this week with this person, you know, and just in general in your life. Uh, take care. I hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.